welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this really awesome, spooky looking, I don't even know what you want to call this, man-eating plant type thing. Kind of reminiscent of Little Shop of Horrors <laughs> using footballs and false fingernails for the Dollar Tree. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it. Alrighty, let's get started. So first off, what you're going to need, of course, is a flower pot. Now you can use a plastic one if you want to from the Dollar Tree. I grabbed this one at Walmart. It's really heavy, it's one of those terracotta ones. It is um, eight and a quarter inches big. That's what I'm gonna use because I want to put like a cluster of these little, I don't know what you wanna call them, flowers? <laughs> Alien plant pods, whatever. I wanna to try to put a cluster in here and I wanted a bigger pot with a little bit more stability. So that's why I have this heavy one. Now, if you're going to use a pot like that, you may want to paint it. So what I have to paint it is this spray paint. I'm going to use this sort of like as a base color. And then I'm going to go over it with this stone textured finish because this is like $7 a can and this was $3.97. So, you know, I'm just going to put down a nice base coat of this on my pot and then let it dry and then go back over it with this just to give it a little bit of texture. Of course, you know, you can use whatever kind of pot you want to. You don't have to use this one. Now, I'm setting everything down here. Now, this video is probably going to be broken up into several different parts where I have to pause it and come back. It's not really difficult. It's just a little time consuming. For my, my vines, I got these at Dollar Tree and I just grabbed a handful of them. Again, I don't know how many you're going to use. I don't know how big your pot's going to be. So it depends on, you know, that how, however many of these that you want to get. I grabbed three. This is maple garland. Now they do have some that is um, sort of like a more orangey yellow color, bright colors, and I didn't want this to be bright. So I grabbed these because they're on the darker side. And I'm going to cut these berries and this poor little gourd guy. I'm going to cut them off and discard them. So I have a handful of those. For your plant, you are going to need these these little footballs at the Dollar Tree. I, I'm using this kind because I like the grooves that they have cut in here. I think it's gonna give it a nice texture. Also, the other ones that they had had the laces actually embossed on them, and I didn't think that, that was quite gonna look right. So I've got a whole handful of these guys. For the stalk, stem, whatever you wanna call it, I have this ninja playset, this like little bow staff type deal that comes in two pieces. See how this is a wood grain? I'm gonna use this for the stalk. And of course I have several blocks of this floral foam to kind of, you know, put down in the pot and fill it out and to be able to have something to put the stalk down in. And then I have just several different colors of acrylic paint. I have this green color for the actual pod and then some black for the inside of the mouth some bright red to go around the lips. Total, total throwback to Little Shop of Horrors. I absolutely love that movie, the one with Rick Moranis in it. I absolutely love it. So, kind of playing homage to, paying homage to playing homage. I am playing and paying at the same time. Anyway, you're also gonna need some of these artificial nail tips from Dollar Tree. Now these are squared off at the end. So what I'm going to do is use this emery board to file them down into sharp points to look like teeth. Now, you don't have to paint these, but if you want to paint them, which I might, um, you know, to paint them white, to make them look more like teeth, you can lay them out like on a piece of cardboard, paper, whatever, outside, and then you can use some spray paint and hold the spray paint kind of kind of far away from it because if you hold it down and blast them, they're going to shoot everywhere, okay? Just kind of hold your paint up a little bit. Give it a couple coats to make them look nice and white. So I'm going to go do the boring stuff. I'm going to go paint my flower pot over here. And I'm also going to show you what I'm going to do with these footballs right quick. These little things right here, save them. Okay, because I have an idea for these suckers too. Save them. You can just work them out of the end of the football. Like that. Okay, now I have an X-Acto knife. This one is very, very sharp. And I'm not going to work on this end here. I'm going to work on over here on this end. See how this is kind of rounded here? And this one is flat. So that when the, the mouth opens up, you want the rounded part to be facing out. I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife and just barely apply some pressure. Because this is so super sharp. And just gently, gently, gently work my way 
around the seam right here. Hold on a minute. I'm going to zoom in. Woohoo! Hello! And I don't want to cut all the way down because if you can see down in here, it's kind of hollow right there. And I don't want this to completely, you know, come apart when I go to open it. So I'm just going to use this X-Acto knife to trace around just like that on both sides. So you can see that's what I did on this one here. And now that I have my edges open, I have an old kitchen knife that I use for a lot of crafts. And I'm just going to put that knife down in there and just cut it through about down to here so that I can open it up a little bit. Okay. So let me work on all this stuff and then I'll come back and show you what we're going to do next. Okie dokie, y'all. So I have my little football. Ah, <laughs> feed me, Seymour. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, I tickle myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, how I love that movie. Anyway, as you can see here, this is about how far I cut. And then I just use a kitchen knife and cut all the way through. And you can see the opening focus, the opening down there. Now to hold the mouth open, you can use like a piece of a dowel rod. You can use a stick. Um, I was going to say that you could take some of the nails and just wedge them in like teeth in the very back, but the inside of this, you know, the nails are kind of sinking down in the foam. And I think eventually, because this has pressure on it, I think eventually it would just close back up. So like I said, you can use a piece of a stick, a dowel rod, whatever. I have a bunch of these Dollar Tree Jenga pieces laying around. So I think that's what I'm going to use. But if you can look in the back here, hello, if you can see in the back, there's still a little bit of foam here and here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some hot glue just right down in there. And then I'm going to take this Jenga block, let's zoom back out, and I'm going to just wedge it down in there. Just kind of push it towards the back. I'm trying so hard to not let this thing, you know, come apart. Because if it comes apart, it's going to be it's going to be harder to work with, I think. Okay, there we go. As you can see, that block is now holding it open, so it looks like it's, it's ah <laughs> like that. But anyway, now what you want to do with your acrylic paint is paint the whole inside of the mouth here black, and don't worry about whatever you put in the very back, because you know what? We're going to paint it, and it's not going to be noticeable. Once you get the paint on, and then you get the teeth in, you're really not going to see it. So, <laughs> I see a brown block, and I want to paint it black. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to paint the inside black. Now, for the outside, I have this English ivy green, and this is all acrylic paint, and you may have to put on a few coats. I have this English ivy green, and then I'm going to highlight the lips with bright red. And then I have some other shades of green over here that I think I may go in. You see these little indentions here. I might go in with that other green and highlight it a bit. I don't know. But let me show you what we're going to do with the nails here. And you can buy some already in this shape, but my Dollar Tree didn't have any. All they had was a square. So that is what I have filed them to look like. So just take the flat end here and you can trim it with scissors to take away the bulk of it. Just like that. Just kind of cut it into a point. And then we're going to take the nail file here and just file it until it's all nice and sharp. Just like this. Okay. And that's going to be our teeth. Now you can put your teeth in yeah, you can put your teeth in. You can put your teeth in here, and once you have them glued into place, then you can go back and paint them white with some acrylic paint before you paint the inside of the mouth. But y'all know I love spray paint, so I'm going to spray paint them like I mentioned earlier. And then these sharp points here, I'm just going to wedge them down into the foam and hold them in place with a little bit of hot glue. And I'll show y'all when I do that. Don't worry, I'll show y'all when I do that. But anyway, I'm going to start painting this. I think what I'm going to do actually is paint the inside of the mouth black and then, let's see, no, nope, I won't put those in yet. Let's just go ahead and paint it first. <laughs> like I said, I'm kind, of, I'm kind of winging this as I go. But anyway, I have a bunch of paint brushes over here. So I'm going to paint the inside of this black and paint this outside green and, you know, put on my highlights and everything and, and see how it looks, see how I like it. And then we'll go from there. So let me get it painted and I'll be right back. 
All right, my friends, here is one of my little plant pods. How cute is that? I'm going to make two of them with the mouth open and one with the mouth closed. And this is what I have. Here is one with his mouth open. Ah, <laughs> how cute is that? I'm tickled with these. I'm just so happy with how it came out. And this is what the plastic staff looks like inside of it. And here he is with his teeth in. I put three coats of the green paint on here. I've got enough of it under my nails to prove that. Um, I put the green paint on here, three coats of that. And then just, I think it was actually four coats of the red paint that I had to use, you know, because the green was so dark and it was, you know, just bleeding through. But here's what he looks like. Now, of course, I'm going to show you what I did. Here are the fingernails. And like I showed earlier, I have filed them down to a point after I trimmed them with scissors. And then I was actually holding the little footballs down in my lap, okay, to make it easier. But I'm going to try to do this on camera so that I can show y'all what I was doing. Let me try to zoom in here. Okay, let me look at this other one to see if I can get it somewhat similar. So I have the bigger size nails here. And actually, you know what? On this other one, I just kind of trimmed off the ends so that they were a little bit flatter. Now, if you have kids or something, or you know, if this is gonna be on display somewhere where people are gonna be touching it and messing with it, even though you tell them not to because people ain't gonna listen, especially kids ain't gonna listen, they wanna to touch and feel everything, they're probably gonna knock its little teeth out. So what I would do is just put a little spot of glue in the little slits that we're gonna cut here just in a second. And, um, and that will help hold them in so you don't walk past your plant and it's, it's toothless. <laughs> All right. So, like I said, this was in my lap. Might be kind of hard to see, but I just took my X-Acto knife and just right around in here, barely, barely just pressing the blade down into it because you don't want to come all the way through the bottom, okay? Just barely pressing my blade into it like that. And then just kind of took my fingernail and pulled it. See how I just pulled it out slightly? And then just wedged the teeth down in there. Like I said, this is going to be in my house. So, you know, my kids know not to touch things. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not going to mess with the glue on these. But if your kids like to mess with things, then I might well take just a little spot of glue. E6000 would be okay. Super glue, you know, whatever you like, whatever you have. And just glue the little suckers down in there. All right, hold still, little plant. We got to put your teethies in. <laughs> uh... <laughs> walking around the house playing with these all morning chasing my kids with it um now for these teeth here and as you can see these teeth i use like the bigger wider size nails and then for the two right here i use some little small ones let's see is that the i think that's the smallest ones i have yeah i use two small ones and then go up top here like I said, I know this is kind of hard to see, and I'm holding it at a weird angle so that I can try to show y'all. I'm just going to cut a slit kind of like all the way around right there. And you know what? I didn't cut the bottoms of these off flat. It just worked better for me when I cut them off flat. That's why I'm doing this. Oh, here's the other tiny one. That's the one I was looking for, <laughs> you little thingy, you. All right. I just go back. Okay. Can y'all see this? Just go back and just pull that apart and stick its little choppers in. And I'll go around and do that. Let's trim this off a little bit more with the other teeth. But I will do that off camera, okay? So I don't bore the crap out of y'all. But let me show you how I put this step in. Let's see, this is gonna be the top, right? So all I did is just somewhere here towards the back. I just took my X-Acto knife again, carefully. I don't have to tell y'all this, but you know what? And this was a long time ago. I about cut all the way through my finger with one of these. This one is brand new. Well, the blade is brand new and this one. So it is incredibly, incredibly sharp. Like I said, I know I don't have to tell y'all that, but still I'm saying it. Disclaimer, if you hurt yourself, it ain't my fault. <laughs> Okay, now I'm just going to take the scissors and then just kind of hack away here. We're just cutting his little guts out. Oh, come on, fella. This hurts me more than it hurts you. 
Okay, let's see. Be gentle here. Zoom back out. And there you go. There's your little plant. Let's see, we can aim this down a little bit if you want to. You know, a bunch of different ways that you could position this. Now, I think what I'm going to do is go back and I'm going to put like a spot of hot glue on the staff. Oh, darn. I busted through there. And that's something that I didn't want to do. Oh, well. It happens. Bless his little heart. I mean, I'm just kind of ramming this in the back of his little head here. Okay. So there's that. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to put the rest of his teeth in. After I glue the rest of this. Like I said, it's fairly simple. This is really simple. Um, there's a lot of steps because, you know, you got to let all the, the paint dry. And that does take a while. Actually, I've been working on this for like two days now. And, you know, going back and forth between letting the paint dry and everything is what has taken so long for this. But anyway, if you saw the sneaky peek on my blog, <laughs> this is what I was making. But what I'm going to... No, I need to cut for the rest of the teeth. So I'm going to put the rest of this guy's teeth in. And here is our flower pot. Now, I know that this is a bad angle. But I'm just going to cram this down in there and see if it will fit. And put that one there. I think what I'm going to do is cut this one in half. And then just kind of spread it around. Because I need a little bit of something. You know what? I'm making just... Oops, I didn't mean to hit the camera. I'm making just wedge these down in there like that and then put the center one straight down into the styrofoam. I don't know. I'm going to play around with it and see what I can do. But that's why I got this. And I'm thinking that I'll fill in the top with some moss. I'm going to stick my little plant pods down in there and then we'll fix this around them somehow to make it look like they have some leaves. So I'm going to pause the video one more time. I'm going to work on it, get it all set up, and then we'll come back and see what it looks like. Okay, one more time. All right, there we go. How awesome is that? And I really love these leaves, how they look, because see, it looks like vine, like the vines growing up around them. I'm just so happy with this. And like I said, all I did is I just crammed that styrofoam down into the pot, and then I just stuck these down in there. I kind of use my scissors to, you know, like carve out little spaces in the styrofoam to fit them down in there. And then I used the other pieces of foam. I just cut it up with a knife to kind of wedge it down in there and hold them in place. <laughs> but there we go. Our little man-eating plant. So I really hope that you enjoyed this. I had a ball putting this one together. If you would, give me a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And hope to see y'all next time. Bye.